Hello everyone, this is Syed. Welcome to British Indian Food channel. My today's recipe is Indian fusion cheesy yogurt chicken. And my today's recipe is gonna be guys made with leftover chicken. So today I'm using so I had some chicken tikka pieces as well. My 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 chicken tikka and some grilled chicken as well, one chicken breast. So I I decided to make something um, today with this chicken, leftover chicken. So let's start guys. It's a very uh, it's gonna be a very simplest recipe guys, not complicated. I'm using my normal aluminium pan. So let's start guys. First I'm going to add one chef spoon of cooking oil and one tablespoon of patagi. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic, chopped garlic, guys, and chopped garlic. Then I'm going to add some finely chopped onion, about 100 gram, 110, 110 gram of onion. If you have pre-cooked service onion guys, uh, you can add service onion as well. Then I'm going to add salt, salt about half teaspoon. Also, I will add some green pepper, about 60 gram. Okay, I go here. Finally sliced. Now, guys, I'll let it cook until the onion has softened. Let's check this. Uh, make sure you have to stir it occasionally, otherwise uh, it might get burned. So make sure the onion doesn't burn. If there is not enough oil, guys, let's uh, let's say if there's not enough oil, you can add some water. But try to um, caramelize and soften the onion into the oil instead of adding water. Uh, it does. Uh, I mean, it's actually good uh, if you if you can soften the onion into the oil. But if it's too dry, if you don't like too much oil, then uh, you can add some water. Actually, add a little bit of cooking oil, guys. Uh, just for extra. Bit of I don't want to add uh, water now. But if you wanna add water, you can add water, guys. Uh, it's up to you. All right, guys. Let's check again. All right now, you can see. Uh, the onion has got brown, but the onion has not softened yet. Uh, I'm going to actually add some water now. Not much, but... Right guys, let's check again. The water is dried out now, and also the onion is softened as well. That should be fine. Guys, while you cook uh, the onion, guys, make sure it doesn't burn. That's all you, you need to do. And uh, if you need to add water, add water. If it, if the oil is enough, then it's fine. Make sure the onion has softened. Right now, I'm going to add. Tomato ketchup guys, uh, but if you don't like tomato ketchup, then you can add tomato paste, tomato puree. But uh, for this uh, particular dish guys, I actually add tomato ketchup. Uh, 
and also I'm going to add some uh, masala paste guys I got video recipe on my channel uh, for this you can have a look the chicken tikka masala paste so I'm going to add about one teaspoon of masala paste guys Now I'll add the spice. Spice I'm going to use uh, my mixed curry powder guys. Uh, about half teaspoon. And I'm going to add red chili powder. About half, uh, actually one teaspoon guys. I'll add one teaspoon. Right, as you can see guys, it's dry, uh, so what you can do basically, if you have a base gravy, you can add base gravy, or if you have water, obviously you can add water as well, yeah, if you can add water, you can add water. So a little bit of water now, not too much, just to, because I need to, I'll have to cook the chicken, uh, coat the chicken with the spice that's why I'm adding less water now I'm going to add the chicken the chicken and with the bone as well I added the bone as well now there's some green chilies guys Then I'll add some tomato, fresh tomato. I'll add some yogurt, guys. I'm using uh, normal natural yogurt, guys. A two tablespoons of corn. As another thing you can add, you know, the spring onion does ni goes nice uh, with this particular dish, guys. It's really, um, it's cool. if you, I don't have the spring onion today, but if you have, you can add some spring onion as well. Right now I'm going to add some fenugreek leaves. Now that's some gravy, that's base gravy. Uh, I'm gonna use chef's spoon. One, two, three, four. Right guys, now I'm going to add some uh, to the cheese. Not much, but I'm, I'll add them. I'll add more later. But first, here in, into the curry, I'm going to add a little bit of little, uh, cheese, about 30 gram. And the chicken was here, guys, about 300 gram. Uh, chicken. almost done guys it's a bit dry uh, that's that dish uh, dish supposed supposed to be uh, dry guys but if you want to add more gravy more uh, saucy you can add more gravy guys if you want guys I'll add a little bit of more cheese about more 20 25 gram 
so that's about 50 gram it's up to you how much you want to add uh, into the curry but normally um, that cheese goes on the top on you when, when we serve it so and a little, little, little bit on the curry and rasta on the top when you when you when we serve it right guys uh, it's almost done guys there's another thing I normally add a uh, single cream goes with it but I don't have single cream today that's why um, I, I couldn't add it but if you have single cream guys uh, you can add single cream as well after you add the, add the cheese so that'll be taste now get this I'm just adding a little bit of gravy so it's gone too dry I'm gonna put it on high I guess and add some coriander beautiful guys flavor of the cheese and I mean, chicken is beautiful Guys, now I'm going to I'm going to uh, put on the serving dish. My curry is done. Look, the oil is on the top. As you can see, means the curry is done. Let's see, guys, my curry is done. Right, guys, uh, my dish is done. It's all ready. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like, comment, and share. And also, if you like, if you if you try this recipe, if you like it, share it with your friends and family. And also. Um, this particular dish guys, uh, it's just a chef special dish on your own, maybe you can never try it, but try this once and let me know guys, uh, I hope you will like it, so thank you very much, thanks guys, bye bye.